Key Cave, Keyshawn Dimes YouTube page, aka Mr. Low Key, and we back with another TV show review, and we got Wu Tang and an American Saga season three, episode. I mean season two, my bad, y'all. Season two, episode four review. Yeah, this is episode four because we had the first three episodes. Episode four is primarily trying to get Bobby to get uh, Dennis and Raekwon on the same track and on the same uh mind frame that he's on as far as getting this group together and i ain't gonna even front i almost forgot that raekwon and dennis was going there to coming off the last season or whatnot and forgetting that they didn't get shit reconciled or whatnot so what i really enjoyed about this episode because i figured i said when they f had them on the boat i said okay this whole episode is gonna be him trying to get them together and them on this boat and not only did this uh not only did this episode uh, do be do a great build up as far as Raekwon and Ghost's and Ghostface relationship, but it introduced me to people that I forgot that was in Wu Tang, which was Power. I forgot how influent influential and how important he was to the group too. And I'm like, damn, they keep showing him. They showed him all the first season. They showed him then. I'm like, nigga, this Power. And uh, when you watch the documentary on Wu Tang of Mice and Men that came on Showtime, I think. You get all this little information, man. And there's so many people that was involved in Wu-Tang. So many people, man. But as far as this episode go, it's basically um, RZA, Bobby, trying to get his brother, trying to get Power, Raekwon, and uh, Dennis Ghostface Killer, trying to get all these guys together since they've been beefing at each other. And the fact that I really enjoyed it because they went into full detail. Like, yeah, that's what I was wondering. I'm like, hold on. This nigga shot at your family. This one uh, rob, tried to rob your parents. He had your daddy on the ground. And Raekwon saying all of it. He going into all of it. He was like, I, we tried to kill this nigga's family. I'm like, yes. You know what that tells me, though? Especially this coming out. True events. This is um, going on with Wu-Tang or whatnot. And it's like. How could you ever try to come between something like Wu Tang? <laughs> like, I'm outside. You being on the outside looking at, how could you ever look in at what these guys went through? And this is why I'm enjoying this build up and this storytelling and the fact that we're going into them in the process of making the album 36 Chambers. Because this makes me even more exciting to they go in. Well, they know they're not going to get into it this season, but because you know they get this whole turmoil that comes in between the group. And you know, we got solo albums, you know, Raekwon, Ghostface. Method Man, I think, was one of the first people who goes who got a solo album outside of Wu Tang. Either way, though, the build up, and we got them on this boat trip the whole episode, going back and forth to a point. You got Dennis, this nigga Ghostface, when he got a gun. Like, I want to know certain things, bro. Was some of this stuff real? Did he? Did, was they really going at these lengths with each other? And you go back and you see some of these stories. You like, damn, man, they was really doing this. And that's why when you hear all the stories outside of hip hop. When it uh, comes to Wu Tang, people not don't mess with Wu Tang. <laughs> like, do not fuck with Wu Tang. And you always hear about shit that happened with people who did mess with Wu Tang. And then you you net like man, you have never, you have never, never man. And you know they've had their into problems or whatnot, but you have never seen them come at each other like that, bro. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. And that's looking at this type of episode, and it just. Uh, focusing on basically Raekwon and Ghostface trying to men's in, uh, men ends and trying to basically come together and Bobby trying to get everybody together to form this brotherhood and seeing the things they've been through and went through it's like damn man cause you almost like I said you go back it's like damn did Raekwon really shoot at Ghostface <laughs> early on before like and I always go back to looking at those album covers and most of those solo albums Whenever Ghostface dropped the album, um, Iron Man, uh, yeah, Iron Man, uh, damn, 
I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not. I'm, I know some. I know most of the name of his albums, but I'm not thinking about like Fish Scales and all them other ones. I'm thinking about the early ones. On point, I'm trying to make is most of Ghostface and Raekwon's early on solo albums. It was Ghostface and Raekwon, or Raekwon and Ghostface. They was like this on albums together. Like most of their solo albums, it's Ghostface and Raekwon. It's not even solo albums. It's both of them together. So. Looking at this build up and the relationship they got with each other and seeing what they went through and had to go through just to get that and you see why they're so tight. Why they are the way they is. Raekwon and Ghostface It's like, yo, the show was getting better and better. And that's why I always go back to that first season and say it almost was a point like I went kind of enjoying it when I first was watching it. But then watching it again and later on at the season when I was first engaging in it and episodes later on where I started liking it more and more just watching it. This that build up, man. It's this character development. It's getting to study and learn, going behind the scenes and seeing how these guys became who they become. Especially Riz and Bobby, man, and his. I keep going back to him and the music when they playing the violins, and I'm sitting up there. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. You know what I'm talking about? Off that uh, routine forever. Man, come on, man. That beat, and then they play the beat at the end of the episode, bro. I was all with it. I really want to know, though, is that how he got them sound, like, whatnot? But just them throwing them little gems in there, them little Easter eggs in there, bro. It's, I love it, man. I love it. And them little, playing the little beats, and you hear how Rizzo is just going through, and you can see it. Shout out to dude playing Bobby, playing Rizzo. He is embodying the role, bro. You can say what you want to say about looking, the lookalikes and whatnot. Like I said, I feel like that's ODB. The person playing ODB is that top notch, the character that looks most like anybody. Dave East is sounding and having those mannerisms as met the man. He's the, the acting eye wise, he's killing it. And my boy that's playing um, Raekwon, he killing it too. But overall, Rizzo, Bobby, man. My man playing that role, he is definitely top notch and he doing his thing, man. But overall, this episode, like I said, is just diving deeper into that character development and understanding the Wu-Tang Clan, not only as a group, not only as a rap group, but as a brotherhood. The way Bobby speaking to him, the way they put, the way they use the Kung Fu movies and the way they use like the Shine Line technique and the way they use those um, certain um Things as far as the uh, principles of the martial arts movies, and they try to take those so those, those same principles and apply them to their lives in this series. That's what I'm saying. And you hear it throughout all Wu Tang albums. You hear it throughout their lyrics. Just them little skits that Rizzo throw in there when you hear the um dudes talking in the background where they got the Chinese flicks in the background. The character development, the um. Behind the scenes work with this, knowing that Rizzo is a part of this, knowing the whole Wu Tang, man, man, all of them is a part of this series. I'm loving it, man. I'm telling you, I'm loving it. And it's not your traditional series. It's so it's different elements in this. They be doing little things where it doesn't. It's not that regular show. Or it's not that regular documentary type style. You could tell Rizzo had a lot of input in that because it almost reminds me, and it's not the same thing, but it reminds me of the man with the iron fist, what he was doing with that, and kind of just throwing these little things in there where it's kind of off guard. It's similar to what he did with the first season where he had like the little animation things. That's what I'm talking about, where he would have these little things come in in the middle of the episodes, and it's like, I like that. I like those type of things. But overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I, at first, I didn't think I was. I'm like, oh, man, they're going to be on this boat this whole episode. But seeing the things they have to go to to try to get these guys together, that's what I really enjoyed. It wasn't fast-paced. It wasn't rushed. It wasn't like, okay, now Ghostface and Raekwon, they just cool all of a sudden. They just going to be cool. No, it's a build-up. Like, you had Ghostface about to go try to shoot this nigga on the boat. Like, I thank you. Thank you. That's good writing for me for good characters. And I feel like even if they couldn't go to the amount, because I, I still personally, I don't know if this the route they went to get them together. I feel like it might have took a little bit longer, but I still like the way they did it, and it fit, didn't feel rushed. But y'all, that's pretty much my review of Episode 4 of Wu-Tang and America Saga Season 2. I want y'all to let me know in the comment section how did y'all feel about this episode. I'm really enjoying this season. I'm liking the direction they going. And I just like I said, I cannot wait till they get into the process of making the album, the beats, them rapping, and them going. Man, I'm ready for that part. But y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all feeling about Wu-Tang and American Saga Season 2 Episode 4.
hit that like button hit that subscribe button this is the road to 300 subs shout out to all my subscribers and shout out to everybody checking out my videos don't forget to hit that notification bell to let you know when i upload new videos man we out